Hi pilots, I've just paused the video here because, uh, well right at the beginning, realised there's a few bits and pieces I forgot to mention. Uh, for starters, where I got it from, I got it from a company called Electric Wingman. It's a UK based company but they do deliver worldwide and they're a great company. I've had a lot of bits and pieces off them and no problems at all. Right, now back to the board because uh, I missed a few bits when I was talking about the board as well. Uh, the firmware is Omnibus F4 firmware. It comes flash with beta flight with a uh, built in on screen display. Right, you can alter your PDBs and your rates and stuff with your transmitter. Two to six cell lipos and the VTX is 25, 200, and 600 milliwatt, which I think I mentioned in the video. It's compatible with all ESCs. Right, so no matter whatever ACs you've got, it's compatible with them all. The master refresh rates are up to 8K and uh, it, has it has enhanced copper current uh, stability, which is for cooling faster, so it keeps the board cool. Well, that's just about the bits I forgot about. So, uh, back to the video now, and sorry about that, and cheers. Oh, pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel. Well, I've got a new flight control board today to show you. Well, I say new, it's not as if it's only just come out. I've been looking at this for a while now, and I've been I've seen reviews, some are good, some are bad. But uh, I re recently noticed Joshua Bardwell uh, put one in one of his models. And if it's good enough for JB, it's definitely good enough for me. Anyway... It's uh, the F4 5V Pro by uh, HGLRC and it's almost an all-in-one, there's no ESCs built in. So it's a three-in-one as it happens because it's your flight control board, your PDB and your VTX, which you probably guessed. So, it's only just arrived, so do a bit of an unboxing. Sorry Bruce Simpson, he hates unboxings. But, let's take a quick look at it. We'll get, oh, you also get a buzzer with it, which a lot of them do, okay. And you obviously get your XT60 connector. The uh, antenna connector, right, is an MMCX connector, which nowadays, and what's the go-to? They're, they're about the best because the plug straight in. I'm not going to plug it in yet. The plug straight into the uh, little connector on the board. Hope you can see that. If I turn it on an angle, you might see it sticking up a bit. The plug straight into the little connector, and they're a tighter fit, and they're flexible. So the MMCX is the more go-to connector. You got all your cables. Now if you get one of these and you get some standoffs and you get, which I didn't know, you get a little battery eliminator circuit. So uh, that's bloody good. I'm very happy with that, getting one of these. So I didn't know. That's actually shocked me because uh, it wasn't in the description. And I can't see. Is that 25 volt, is it? I can't see. I'll put it up in the description. You get some little standoffs. Yeah, don't be daunted by all these cables because you're not going to use them all. You'll unpin most of them. I don't know which is which yet because I've literally just opened it as you can see, but you're only going to use three, the red, the black and the yellow, right, when you're connecting up your receiver. So the rest you'd uh, just unpin, cut off, whatever you want to do. And you'll only use three, well, you're not going to use any for your VTX, because as I said, it's got a built-in VTX, which uh, puts out 25 milliwatts, 200 milliwatts, and 600 milliwatts. Okay then, right, yeah, it has a built-in black box, so a lot of people will hate that, because I know most people prefer... Uh, a black box with an SD card, but unfortunately this doesn't come with one. Uh, I don't know how much it'll hold, but like most uh, 
built-in black boxes you're looking at between 30 to 60 minutes when they're built in I'll double check that and I'll leave a link in the description for that as well now that's all I can really say I can't tell you if it's brilliant I can't tell you how well it works and everything because I've never used one but uh, as I said if it's good enough for JB it's good enough for me this little button here right is for your VTX to set your channel right and your bands and everything and on this side I'll get a little pointer it might help I think this is too big but on this side here you've got your boot button okay but like I say oh inside the box you've got setup instructions wiring instructions because it is slightly different to uh, how you'd wire most of them if you're looking at it that way which is if you imagine over here is forward where the arrow is all your negative wires go to this if I can get my glasses on and let's have a close look sorry this will be out of shot yeah right all your negative wires go to these pads your positives go to them pads and on this side your positives on this side and your negatives on this side so when you wire in your ESC's up all the reds go to there all the blacks go to there and vice versa now I don't know if that'll make life easier or make life harder I don't know and if I use this just to point they're small but these tiny little golden circles you can see there for your ESC's your signal wires right now why did I get it when uh, let's just move this to the side a minute as most of you'll be aware my go-to flight control board now is the Omnibus F4 which I really really like this is a really good flight control board right however it doesn't have a VTX and that's why I've gone for the, the the other one and when you mount your second VTX on top this is a uh, TBS uh, oh, brain won't work T, TB, TBS HV when you're mounting it on top you're taking up more and more space and unfortunately at the moment the, the model I'm using it's it's a dome model right the gap RC and space is at a premium so unfortunately this is getting a little bit too tight to get everything in that's why with a built-in VTX you're talking half the thickness of it so there she is anyway so hopefully uh, I'll flash up a couple of images or more information if I think the video needs it so thanks for watching and I just thought I'd share with you I'll do an update on this video in about a couple of months just to let you know how the board handles because as I said some people have moaned about it and some people haven't but like I said if it's good enough for Joshua Bardwell it's good enough for me right then uh, pilots uh, thanks for watching and cheers